Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back or if you're new here, hi, my name is Ara and this is my channel. Okay, so for today's vlog is I'm gonna show you my shower or my bath routine. Not shower because I'm not gonna use my the shower today because I'm gonna use the shower so so this anyway for today's video this is one of the most requested videos finally because a lot of you requested to do a to know or to see how I really use the products that I use for my body and also my hair now even though my hair is already dead um, I'm not gonna go into details as to what the products I'm using because I already filmed a separate vlog for that so if you haven't seen that vlog yet I'm gonna link it down below so anyway today is already like um, four in the afternoon so as you can see I'm kind of sweaty because I just finished my workout like not just finished because it's not advised to go down after a workout I think it has already been 30 to 45 minutes since I worked out I'm sweaty because our CR is kind of small and and air is not really like going inside so I really need to take a shower now so anyway for today I'm not gonna show you my skincare but it's part of my shower routine but I'm not gonna show it to you because I'm gonna make a separate vlog for that for my updated skincare routine so anyway without further ado let's get into the video so I'm not so sure if you guys can hear me because the water is already running and we don't have a shower so Pinoy Gayo. So let's start. Okay, so the shampoo that I'm using is the Spanolib Naturals Ultra Smooth Shampoo and Conditioner. So, as you can see, my hair is very long and as what I saw on vlogs like this, um, it's very important to dilute muna lang the shampoo. So, the shampoo, always remember that shampoos are for cleaning. So, and the proper way to apply shampoo on is you first put it on your scalp because that's the dirtiest part of the hair. And for me, diba, I just exercise and the mat was kind of dirty. And as you all know, the scalp is the dirtiest part of the head because that's where the oil is coming from. You shouldn't shampoo like this don't work. And, uh, it will cause friction and then it will make your hair crazy. But in my case, even though I don't do that, there's still a lot of damage in my hair. The next thing that I do is I wash off the shampoo. I'm gonna apply this Albany Spa Milk Salt. So what I do is I apply it to my underarm and then do it on a circular motion. Both my underarms and my what do you call this in English? For in Tagalog you would call this like Siko. And then also the other one and then you also apply to your bikini line and then your two hood and then you may also apply to your butt and let's just wait for it for about five to ten minutes and then let's rinse it off a few moments later now that my shampoo is already washed off The next thing that I do is I apply, is I put on some cream silk purple keratin rescue treatment cream. So I'm not so sure if this is really a conditioner, but I treat this as my conditioner. So for this one though, guys, for the conditioner, you need to put first on like the tips since this is the most damaged one. So it's very important to focus on this part of your hair. And since our scalp is already producing oil, and always remember that um, conditioners are for moisturizing. Since this part is the one that has like lesser oil on your hair, and then the parts that residue, 
is you then bring it to on top of your scalp. I do not have a shower cap, so I'm just gonna use my hair tie. I'm gonna use my Safeguard Pure White Body Wash. So this is just like the typical bar soap, the typical Safeguard bar soap that we use. But for me, I just prefer using this body wash. So make sure to spread out. Don't forget your neck as well. And then this is the part where I'm gonna use my body puff now. But I got this loofah. And I put a small amount here. And then I'm just gonna like gently scrub my body since I just burnt out. And as you all know, the sweat is from the mat. Like nag stick siya on my skin. So it's very oily. And then the next thing that I do is I'm gonna rinse off the safeguard, the body wash. The thing is that let's just put it there lang, leave it for a while so that it will like sink in bana to your body. I mean your hair. So the next thing, this is the time where I use Cody Sun. And then I just um, apply it all over my body. Don't forget the neck. This is my daily soap good. So after applying the Koji Sun all over your body, you just wait for about 5 minutes so that it will do its job. So let's wait for 5 minutes. I'm just gonna listen to music. A few moments later. Now that it has already been 5 minutes since I applied Koji Sun, it's time to rinse our this, this conditioner. So what I do, I usually rinse off the conditioner first and then I rinse off the body sun just so na it's not gonna cost me some back knee because conditioners really cost our skin some back knee so let's make sure to rinse this first. So what I do is I do not rinse the conditioner straight. I make sure to put my hair on the side so that it's not gonna the water with conditioner is not gonna flow directly to my back. So this is how I do it. If I make any sense. When I feel like I already rinsed off my the conditioner is I would then put my hair on my back. So guys, you may use conditioner every day or at least three times a week. But for me, I only use conditioner two to three times a week since for me, I'm still a student so I do not have an income. So for me, conditioners are already like expensive. So yeah, for the shampoo naman, you may not shampoo every day to so that it won't like, damage your hair. And then, and then I'm just gonna make sure that you know, there's no condition left. And then I know it's weird, so I'm gonna use the anti-aging body sand. And I'm just gonna like do like this, and then what I do is I apply it on my back to make sure that there's no conditioner residue left on my back so that it won't cause like back pain because I'm really prone to back pain. I'm not sure with you but in my case, I'm really prone to back pain. And then that's the last part of my shower routine. I really feel so fresh now. Okay, so I think this is gonna be the end of this video. As what I've mentioned earlier is I'm not gonna show you my skincare routine since I'm gonna make a new vlog with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, just leave it on the comment section down below. I would gladly answer all of your questions. So now I hope you guys have an idea as to how I use my body skincare products. And if you have any 
vlog suggestions, feel free to comment it down below. I would gladly do it for you. So anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and also don't forget to turn on that notification bell down below for more upcoming videos. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching.